I have three new manufacturers who have answered my questions about their electric car support for vehicle to grid and vehicle to home in Australia. These are BYD, Xpeng and MG. Now, the answers, some are better than others. I'll go through them. And interestingly, for each of these brands, I know personally from people telling me and showing me evidence that people have tested in Australia owners, BYD Seal, BYD Auto 3, and BYD Shark 6. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism with different vehicle to grid and vehicle to home charges. And to some extent, they work fine to varying levels, depending on the car. Now, what else? What about Xpeng? Well, a viewer has sent me in evidence that their electric car has been used with a SIG Energy bi-directional charger with the Xpeng G6 to supply vehicle to home. And they tested it at about three kilowatt output level because they want to be careful. Okay, that's interesting. And MG, what about them? Well, I know for sure that the MG4 works with the Star Charge Halo, SIG Energy Bi-Directional, and InfiPower Vehicle to Grid, Vehicle to Home Chargers, because three different sources have shown me evidence of it working with there. Hmm, that's really interesting with the MG4. Now, what will MG say though? All three manufacturers gave me answers and there were different kinds of answers. Now, there's a thing called on the record answer and off the record answer. What it means is if a company gives a journalist an on the record answer, you're allowed to publish it. If they give you an off the record answer, that's just a background briefing information and you're not allowed to publish it. Okay, so MG, their answer was very short, no comment. Okay, so we'll just have to figure out what they're going to do in the future. MG Australia, unfortunately, is usually quite secretive. And when they announce new things, they tend to just come out of the blue, out of nowhere. Even dealers tell me this. They usually get very little sort of forward knowledge of changes in prices and warranties and other news that's really important. Uh, wait and see, I guess. Now, BYD. They don't have anything that they can tell me that's on the record. But yeah, realistically, I think that since their car performs so well in vehicle to grid tests so far, especially the Addo 3, which I have a link to in the description. I interviewed an Addo 3 owner in Queensland who's been really extensively testing his car with vehicle to grid, vehicle to home, and it's performed perfectly. Um, Looks like BYD doesn't want to make any official comment at the moment. However, they did tell me they would keep me in the loop should circumstances change. And Xpeng, right. Again, no official statement is available at the moment, but I can tell that they were respectful of the question and uh, were probably working on it in the background. They said the true EV product team is fully engaged on this and is very excited about the potential of V2G V2X technology, they said they're committed to supporting efforts to get clear guidance from Xpeng and to help ensure Australian customers can make informed decisions. So that sounds reasonable and hopefully they can get some information from HQ because Xpeng in Australia is sold by an independent distributor, not a factory backed distributor uh, like BYD Australia or MG Australia. Uh, anyway, I uh, hopefully that's useful information for you. Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.